Hey guys, Fazzy back here. And today we're again gonna be doing something a little bit different on the channel than what we normally do. And that is discussing the whole situation regarding the Arizona Coyotes. So I believe it was either Monday or Tuesday that everything really started to break regarding this subject. When it was reported, I believe by Frank Cervelli, he was the first one that started getting the ball rolling on all this regarding there being two schedules being planned by the NHL for this upcoming season. And then as the time went on, it just continued to snowball here. And then all of a sudden, I am recording this on the Saturday, <laughs> but one in the morning right after I'm getting off work here. It looks like the Arizona Coyotes are officially done and will be moving to Salt Lake City. And again, on this channel, I really don't take a look at real life stuff going on in the NHL. I keep it to the video game. But it, when it comes to relocation in the NHL and just like huge, huge news, you just kind of have to discuss it. And everyone else is giving their take on it. So I was like, yeah, why not do that as well? So the first thing I do have to say is, man, I feel so, so bad for anyone who's been a fan of the Coyotes, anyone who's working for the team in any regard like that, like just completely out of nowhere. The owner is just like, oh yeah, we're going to be selling. You guys may or may not have a job. You're going to be losing the team you cheer for. It's got to just be horrible. <laughs> I don't even know how else to put it, like, uh, when it comes to Merrill as an owner, I honestly thought, just from an outsider's perspective, that he wasn't all that bad, but then everything just starts coming out slowly, obviously, at first, they got kicked out of their first arena, what is it, two years ago now, for not paying the rent, and I think it was today it came out, they weren't paying their hotel bills, like, how is this operation running like this? It doesn't really make any sense to me, the whole tempe entertainment district how you're basically replacing a landfill and the people in the area would rather have the landfill than the arena so much stuff here that doesn't make any sense especially with this ownership and i really do think that is the thing that has held the franchise back all these years they've never had a good owner really in their history like looking just at tampa bay i've seen people using it as an example i'm a bolts fan i can totally relate that when you get a very good owner in there, it can, can totally change the team. Jeff Finnick buys the team. He is just so much more involved. He's investing in the right things. And just the franchise more or less overnight just turns around and has been just excellent ever since then. Where Arizona has never really had that scenario. It just keeps getting sold and sold to people who just, it, I don't even know if it's like they don't care or what it is, but for whatever reason, it just, they just can't get a good owner and they can't get the operation running as it really should be and it sucks to see. I think honestly you kind of have to put Marorello as probably the second worst owner in all of sports and no one's beating John Fisher, let's be real. If you guys are following the A's coverage and how they're now moving as well, that guy's the worst owner ever of like anything. But Marorello is definitely not too far behind him so again it really really does suck to see. And yeah, for any Yotes fans out there, again, i really, really sorry about this. This absolutely sucks for you guys, for sure. There is some potential good news coming out of it, though. It does appear that hockey will be back in Arizona here, and it looks like it could be rather soon, which is very, very good. You just look at the numbers, you look at the population. If given a good team, a good rink, good product just in general, you're going to succeed. And Arizona has more or less all the potential with that. They have a huge population and hockey can work in the desert. And it does look like they're going to get another shot, which is good. Currently, it's being reported that Alex Maruello has a five-year window to have an arena built. And then that they will talk about expansion and all of that stuff in the NHL. Which it just it's crazy you're keeping potentially the same ownership and bringing them back again. I just don't know how that's going to be successful again i yeah i don't know maybe something will change in these five years here until they end up getting their second chance at an nhl team but if i'm going back to arizona i'm finding a fresh new party and even you look at ryan smith right now the guy in salt lake that is trying to buy the team that's the kind of owner that you really do want to have of your franchise like it seems like he really cares he's really enthusiastic cares about the team's success, cares about just everything, the population, how they think of the team, and all of that. So that's the kind of ownership you want to find 
and you want to have supporting your team, which I just don't know how that's going to work if they go back in Arizona with the same ownership. I guess we're going to have to wait and see in a few years and see how that all ends up playing out. But when it comes to the Salt Lake City side of things, I do feel good for the people there getting their team. I am from Winnipeg. I experienced this all the way back in 2010, 2011 when the Jets came back. I was still in like grade school at the time. I just remember the hype and the excitement around the city, the buzz it brings as they were waiting to unveil what the team was called. I remember we were maybe thinking it was going to be the Winnipeg Moose and we were having like competitions in school, drawing logos, all that stuff. So it brings a lot of fun to the community and I think for Salt Lake that's going to be a huge part of it. I, again, I don't know how passionate they are about hockey down there, but I'm sure they'll have a pretty big fan base when the team does arrive. So overall there is some good coming out of this. And again, hopefully Arizona and hockey will not be apart for too long here. And just a side note, if Arizona does end up getting an expansion team, there you gotta think is gonna be the 33rd team in the NHL. So where are we going? Are we going 36? You have to go 36 at that point. And then really, are you gonna go to 40? Make it 10 teams each, each division, just have it balance between all the four. It's so interesting right now in the NHL. They said they're not in expansion mode, all that stuff, but now news like this is breaking, teams are moving, looks like new teams are gonna be coming in soon. So it is a very interesting time regarding everything around the NHL. I think that is gonna do it here for today's video. Again, this isn't something I normally do, just talking about real life and what's going on in the NHL and all that stuff. But like I said, when it's big news like this, I just kind of want to give my two cents and why not make a quick video on the subject. So that is going to do it though for today's video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.